In this example, we have e to the square root of x minus 2. So we know the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. But when we have a function that's not just x, we have to use the chain rule. So we're going to have e to the f of x times the derivative of that f of x function. So in this case, it's going to stay completely the same. So e to the square root of x minus 2. Then we are multiplying by this derivative of the square root of x minus 2. And that's where things get a little bit more complicated. So we are using the chain rule with this exponential function. Then we're going to have to use the chain rule to take the derivative of the square root of x minus 2. So a chain within a chain, pretty much. So this is e to the square root of x minus 2, not touching that. that this is that component right here, e to the f of x. Now I have to take the derivative of the square root of x minus 2. So I'm going to just do that off to the side, I guess. Um, and we're going to have x minus 2. The square root of x minus 2 is x minus 2 to the 1 half. So the derivative of this is going to be chain rule. 1 half times 1, which is 1 half times x minus 2. Taking the derivative, so I have to subtract 1. This is over 2. This becomes 2. 1 minus 2 is a negative 1 over 2. And don't forget when you're using chain rule, you want to take the derivative of the inside. But in this case, you could forget about that and be completely fine because the derivative of the inside is just 1. Derivative of x is just 1. So we have times 1. And like I said, though, you could have completely forgot about that step and you'd be perfectly fine. But this was like if this was like a 2x or x squared or something like that, then you're going to be in trouble. Uh, so make sure you're remembering the chain rule that it is times the derivative of the inside, which is just 1. So then we're going to have, I'm going to rewrite this a couple times. So this is going to be 1 half x minus 2 to the negative 1 half. Just rewriting the derivative portion. And then I'll write this as a final form here. So I'm going to write this as e to the square root of x minus 2 times 1 over 2 times the square root of x minus 2 because this comes down to the bottom. And then from here, we can probably just rewrite it as e to the square root of x minus 2 over 2 square root of x minus 2. So a couple multiple forms that this could come in. Like this is fine. You can rewrite this as like this in the front. So 1 over 2 square root of x minus 2 times e to the square root of x minus 2. But this would probably be the go-to answer that you'd see in like a textbook or something like that. And so there it is. The derivative of e to the square root of x minus 2. A little bit of a process there. A couple chain rules. Pretty cool though.